guys welcome back so today we are working on the nc i ended up picking a moroso overflow tank up for this car originally i was just gonna do the amazon or ebay brand for this and just deal with the consequences of the not perfect fitment and things like that but i was scrolling facebook marketplace as you do as a car enthusiast and somebody was selling one of these for the same price as the amazon brand one so i was like you know what i cannot miss this opportunity so i got the name brand one but we'll pr probably still end up doing the amazon brand for the power steering tank um, because i do think mine has a leak somewhere so that does need to get done fairly soon but today let's get this cool overflow tank installed this should be pretty simple all i'm gonna need is pliers and 10 millimeter so there should be three of them but i did drop this one and lost it forever <laughs> oops so i'll pull these off move this forward and then lastly we'll pull the bottom one out if you have like a turkey baster it might not be a bad idea but this is just water so i'm not really worried about it um the system's been flushed enough times that there is no more coolant in here and this is pure water so i'm just gonna let it drain and do it that way. If you have coolant, make sure that you get something underneath the bottom of your car to capture what you're gonna spill here. Or like I said, use a turkey baster and get it out that way. But I'm just gonna pull it out whole and try and cover my thumb under the bottom so I don't spill too much. I just lost that nut. I don't think I'm ever getting that back. Yikes. I have no idea where that went. Well, the good news is it's simple. It's a basic 10 millimeter bolt, so I sh should theoretically have more somewhere else if I stop losing them. <laughs> Okay, so I got the bolts, or sorry, the nuts off of here and then took these off. So now we'll just pull those. These might be trickier for you, but I have removed this like four times already. So these are gonna come off pretty easy for me, but if yours is OEM and not been pulled off, um, I try to just lightly grab it with around the hose here while it's on there, like so and then just wiggle it until they want to move a little bit and then you can pull them with your hand if you're struggling. Okay, just so you know what I'm looking at, mine's definitely getting some spillage here, um, but I'm not super worried about it. Again, mine is all water, so it doesn't matter, but if yours is coolant, definitely make sure you have something to catch the coolant coming out. Where mine is pulled up right now, it's pushing it out of one of the other hoses. Not a big deal to me, but probably will be to you if you are not pure water, which I don't think most people are, so. That will happen. There we go. There we go. Okay, here's our new one. All nice and shiny and ready to go. Very excited about this. Obviously, same order as the other one, but in no, reverse order of the other one. hose oh that's gonna hurt that hurts my wrist really bad but the bottom hose is a little bit tight for the moroso pan or i keep calling it a pan an overflow tank but it did get on there it's just a little bit tighter than it is on the oem one just so you know I'm sure there's going to be those of you who are asking, how do you know if this is full? Um, right on the side here, there's a clear opening so you can see the coolant level. 
So that's how you'll know if you have enough coolant in here or water or whatever you're running. I'm not here to judge. So this one on, is that one perfect? Oh my God, that fits perfectly. It looks so good guys. I will show you in just a second. Oh my gosh, perfect. That was so easy. Here's how it looks. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's gonna look really good once this one's also aluminum. Beautiful. Now let's get it bled. Water because we love water in this house. And then these cars kind of do like a self bleed situation, which scares me. But allegedly, this is how it works. So, this part. There we go. Okay, lids on. We're gonna go turn the car on and let this thing self bleed. Okay, gonna turn it on. And just like any other car, going to turn it all the way up. Fans on high, heat on high, and let it bleed. Doing the thing. Okay, so it's working up to temp. It is coming out warm, not hot, but warm. So, so far, nothing crazy. No red flags. Well, another thing I'm really excited about is my custom plate came in for this car. It's so cool. And I didn't get anything related to the 2.5 swap because long term this thing's probably gonna have a K in it. So I figured keep it kind of generic so that it fits the car no matter what. But I wanted to share that with you guys because I'm really excited about it. And no more Kentucky plate. So, yay. <laughs> Just gonna take the MC around the neighborhood real quick and make sure nothing weird pops up. But I think it's good. It's at the half mark on temperature. So I think it's self blood and everything seems to be good. But just to be safe, I'm gonna drive around and make sure nothing weird pops up. So let's take it for a rip. took the car for a test drive and all seems to be good this was a super easy install so if this is something that you're new to working on cars this would be a great one to start with very easy doesn't take too much it's a couple 10 millimeters then a couple hose clamps and then you just fill your system back up with coolant or water so that's an easy one and i would definitely recommend um, plus it's a good preventative to make sure that while you're driving your overflow tank doesn't crack and you lose all your coolant and then you lose your engine so would recommend if you don't get the Moroso one, definitely check out the Amazon or eBay ones at least to get you away from the plastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and I will catch you in the next one.